What's up everyone, Texas Hitman. I'm about to show you guys a quick video here uh, going over my mastery setup. <clears throat> I've gotten a lot of comments and questions, so here you go guys. Um, mainly, uh, it's set up for just high offense, uh, high offense attack. I only have uh, one point in here in each of the strength and greater strength. Then I uh, maxed out Pierce critical hits from your champions ignore an additional 15% armor it's actually really good a lot it's a uh, pretty underrated a lot of people don't don't uh, see the use for it but when you're fighting champs that are you know have armor and like Iron Man and Colossus and you know all those all those guys um, it makes a pretty good difference I put only two here in a lesser cruelty but I maxed out cruelty 50% um, let me show you guys increase the critical damage of all champions by 50 percent so that one's always really good to to have max and so is precision the critical rate of all champs by 10 percent i have a uh, one in uh glass cannon one in recoil where it increases your special attack damage for all your champions by 10 percent but you lose five percent of your health and if I was to increase, here you see the, the increase. Um, you increase your, your attack damage, but you lose a little more health. I just don't see the point in it. Um, some guys do. Some guys really like it for um, using, you know, in the boss battles and stuff like that. Having it maxed. Liquid Courage, I have it uh, maxed out. Because it's the, it's the same health loss it's one percent of your health is lost um so there's it's not like increasing so if you're gonna have one you might as well have more because your, your attack damage um it, it's up by 30 percent not your damage your your attack it increases your attack and double edge here's where the higher you go the the more you health you lose um in uh, 20 seconds, you lose 30% of your health, but you also um, have 30% more attack. So in total, you're looking at about 60% more attack just in those two. Not plus the glass cannon, which is an additional 2.4, which isn't a lot. But the only way to get to the end is to to uh, put a point here. And as far as uh, why you know the bleeding out thing you need willpower I'll start off, off over here I have uh, three on willpower that way I can gain the most health I can when I have uh, detrimental effects on me and it, those include the detriment uh, the detrimental effects you have on yourself from from you know liquid courage and double edge here you see the different levels how much health you gain you have This one down here in equity, I have one. It reduces the incoming attack damage by 2% for each detrimental effect on the target. Um, so if you're making him bleed or if you're making him, um, you know, if you armor break him, any any effect you put on him, um, their attack damage is 2% less for each one. So, I mean, for example, if you're using... Um, Scarlet Witch, which I use her a lot, and she puts a lot of little like detrimental effects on them. Their attack on me is 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 also lower. So that's why I did that. <clears throat> Stand your ground, uh, resist a a, um, a block break by fifty percent. And here you see the different percentages. I max it out mainly uh, for those uh, fights where where you can't parry the. Um, what's it called the stun immunity and all that in alliance war i wanted that and obviously perfect block is also another really good one it's only four percent but that, that's it's a little bit better than four percent in my opinion because each champion has their own uh separate like block proficiency and perfect block and uh block proficiency here eight percent because i have that one maxed Then one and one here at the start, just for health. I don't recommend putting more than that. In the recovery, increase the amount of health your champions recover by 10% from all sources. 
so this is uh this actually helps a lot with willpower um i might use the next point there i might not but if you have willpower if and you have this on three you gain even more willpower uh, you gain even more health per second and also for like your strange and all those other uh regen champs the higher that one is the the the, the better your life uh gain is your health gain and salve uh you see here that's the little points that you see the little green points of health going up those are those your champions recover 4.0 health twice per second utility this is uh some of the more fun ones um limber uh really just reduces the duration of the enemy stun so when you max this out and like they parry you it's like so fast that they try to hit you and you're already out of it so that that, that one's really good for like a defensive strategy uh parry this is a must-have you want to always be able to have parry uh in your utility on uh you basically stun them when you hit block as there the, there's an incoming attack there you see how long it is. The next level would be two seconds, which I mean, you don't really need. And I have uh, two and dexterity for evade. You, you're fine here with one, you don't need two. I, I recommend just having one there. I just haven't reset it. I used to uh, max out this one before. When your, your champion inflicts stun, it lasts for, and then I had it maxed out. So it was a half second longer. Um, but I, I spread out the points a little bit. Whoops. And then here, Petrify. When your champions inflict stun, they also reduce enemy health and power gains by up to... So if you're hitting somebody as they're stunned, um, their power gains and, 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 and uh, their um, health recoveries are 30% are less. So that one's a really good one to use also. Um, if you use Pari or if you use uh, like champions that stun a lot, that one's really good. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my uh, that's my mastery setup. I'll show you some of my champs just because um, so you can see like the levels that that, that mastery setup give me in, in terms of you know player index. Uh, these are the R4s at the top. You see Spider-Man there at 8,638. He's a rank four, five star. Let me go with, uh, well, let me show you the R3s. These are the R3s. Pretty high PI. Even the unduped ones are pretty decent. Rhino still sucks, 2,600. And then, uh, let me show you guys the four stars. And here they are. Thor, Venom, Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, Cap, Superior Iron Man, Black Widow, Storm, Deadpool, Ultron, and Rocket. Um, I haven't been able to R5 Electro because I was saving the cats for my Spider-Man. And I'm, I could do Cyclops to R5, but I, uh, I might hold off on those using those catalysts in case I get a, a storm or a cyclops five star but thanks for watching guys like uh, the video please it helps with the booster ratings and uh, you know subscribe to the channel appreciate it take it easy